We're going to turn now to Israel hitting hundreds of new targets inside Gaza as the humanitarian situation there grows even more dire. Let's go back to our chief foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, in Israel with more. Good morning again, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Robin. It does look like talks are ongoing to try and release a large number of these hostages taken by Hamas. The talks are involving America, Qatar, Israel and Egypt. But the Biden administration also advising a delay to this possible Israeli ground operation to allow more time to get people out. Meanwhile, we're seeing more Israeli airstrikes in Gaza. In particular, parts of Khan Yunus reduced to rubble. Remember, this is a city in the south of Gaza where many people were told to flee by the Israeli military for their own safety. Israel saying it struck hundreds of what it calls terror targets, but inevitably there are also lots of civilians paying with their lives. Um, meanwhile, the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, releasing this video that they say shows their own forces stopping an attempted infiltration into Israel by Hamas last night. One other thing of note, a meeting in Beirut appears to have taken place, we're not sure when, between the heads of Hezbollah, Hamas and Islamic Jihad. These are three groups prescribed as terrorist organizations by the U.S. and others. They're now saying they're going to work together against Israel. And Iran's supreme leader accusing the U.S. of war crimes for supporting Israel. In other words, we keep talking about this, the risk of miscalculation and a wider war, very real.